Hello and welcome to Modern Sages. This video is a clip taken from our podcast. If you want to learn more or listen to the podcast even further, click the show notes below and that will link you to the direct podcast that you are listening to. I have found that there has been a huge shift in what a lot of people have been navigating since, you know, the pandemic. And I feel like a lot of it has brought people to look into the darkness or they've kind of been forced into this unknown space. And it can be scary. And I know that as we are human, of course, we have the four aspects of what we experience, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And I feel like a lot of times when we step into the darkness or the fear of going into the darkness or our shadow work or experience those things that we are unknown to us, it almost feels like it opens up the space of our emotions. And it's like, I can't do that because I don't know what I'm going to find or it's really scary in that space. Mm -hmm. And so your book really has brought this new perspective of there's great wisdom and great lessons to learn when embracing that darkness, which I think is so profound. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I agree that whether it's in one's personal spiritual path and spiritual journey or with what we're facing collectively, a great deal of uncertainty, um, one of the first things that gets to be revealed for many people is a conditioned tendency to fear the unknown and to find um, comfort by going up into the rational mind. I consider this sometimes, I refer to it as the, the lamp of knowledge, trying to get to the light, where if we can label and understand uh, life, then we can feel comfortable, but with the mystery, the invisible, the hidden, the not yet formed, which is uh foundational to every process of change and growth and transition uh our egos can get really really uncomfortable and find myriad ways to try to push away that discomfort mm -hmm. or ways to hold on to the familiar so one thing i talk about in the book is a tendency and this is all just our conditioned tendency to try to look to externals for safety and to build scaffolding in our lives. Like if I have the right job and the right partner and the right setup and the right, whatever it is, fill in the blank, we think that will bring us security. And ultimately spiritual practice invites us to drop that and to turn within to reestablish our stability in a much deeper place of trust mm -hmm. and certainty that only occurs within and in the moment. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this podcast has piqued your interest, we would definitely recommend you to finish the podcast by clicking the link below. We would also love to invite you to subscribe and to like to our YouTube channel, along with joining our Modern Sages Soul Tribe. This is a tribe of women helping to embrace the medicine within. In this tribe, we will be doing moon gatherings, having classes, and a lot of free content, spiritual gift giveaways, and so much more. If this calls to you, click the link below and join the Modern Sages Soul Tribe. Blessings.